Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about five of the best free speech to text document writers online. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to really help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if you, that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now here we are in dictation.io. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go from what I consider the worst to the best. And, and I'll give you my reasons why I think some of them are worse than others and I'll also tell you why I think some are better than others. Now, the reason I think this one isn't terribly good is because the formatting is pretty terrible and you can't just say new line and have it go down to the new line. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Full stop. New line. How now, brown cow? Full stop. New line. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. Full stop. New line. Okay, well it did it once, and instead of doing the new line, it also has a massive space between there and there, so as you can see, it doesn't start with a capital letter, and it can be a little bit funky in how it, how it does things. So this one here is dictation.io forward slash speech. You may find this really, really good but I don't find it quite as easy to deal with or to work with. So this is one I tend not to use. But in a pinch, at a pinch, if I really, really had to, this would do the job. But just to let you know, that's the reason why I wouldn't use it. However, it's available if you want to try. Let's go over to dictation site number two. Okay, now here we are at Google Docs, and how we get to this section here, so ordinarily you'll be starting on a new document and you'll be just you be just here. And all you need to do to do that is to go to Tools, go over down here to Voice Typing, and you click on there, and there you have it. All you need to really do to get started is to click on this little microphone right here on the left-hand side. So let's click on that. How now, brown cow? Full stop, new line. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. Full stop, new line. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So as you can see, it doesn't capitalize the first letters, unless of course you've just started off the document. And that's common for this one. And also it doesn't tend to start it on a new line, which can be a, a, a bit of a pain, especially when you're trying to and you're in a hurry and you're trying to write something and you're wanting to go down to a new paragraph and you go new line, new line and it decides, writes in new line, new line in the same sentence. It's like, oh, that makes no sense. So that's one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of Google Docs one because the Google Docs voice typing doesn't have all the features I really, really want when it comes to dictating into my 
uh, document at all. So I find this one is a little bit funky. Okay, let's go over here to dictation site number three. Now dictation site number three is actually Microsoft Office Word Online. And it has a really good feature over here. You've got your dictation section just there. When you click on that, it'll open that little document box up. This is how now, brown cow. Full stop, new line. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Full stop, new line. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Full stop, new line. As you can see, this is a really good way of creating sentences and so forth. Now, yeah, you can do quick suggestions and so forth, and, and there's a lot of different things you can do here. Now, as you can see, it is accurate in what it writes, and that's the one thing you really must look at. Does it start the sentence with a capital letter? Does it put the full stop where you want it? And the answer to all of these are yes. And the good part about it is it's 100% free as well. All you really need to do is to sign up to the online section and you get it 100% free. And that's the good part about this one. And you can use it as often as you want. Okay, the free version of this is maybe a little bit more limited, but if all you're doing is dictating into a Word document, then this will do you just fine. And the good part about this is you can also get this on your mobile phone as well. Okay, let's go have a look at dictation site number four. All right, now you may or may not have heard of speech notes. Now speech notes can be used online. It can also be used as an app on your mobile phone. Specific, specifically for Android, I don't know whether or not it can be used for iPhones or anything like that, but I do know that you can use speech notes on your Android. Now, let's have a quick look at this. Now, the thing is that they do have different words you need to use, but let's have a quick look here. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Period. New line. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. Period. New line. How now, brown cow? Period. New line. New line. Okay, ordinarily that doesn't have any issues. But, you know, like everything, it's just the way it is. But I find that this is really good if you're in a hurry and you want to be able to do it on your mobile phone and you want to be able to bring it home later on with you, you have a thought that you want to put down on paper very quickly and you don't want to have to spend the time typing it on your mobile phone because it takes time to do that. You can just quickly dictate it into your speech notes, bring it home with you and dictate it onto whatever document you're using. Now, of course, you can also you can download this, you know, do new sessions, and, and, and there's also a heap of things you can do. And you can download it as a text file or a Word document. You can save it as a session. And, yeah, you can print it up if you wish to. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with this. It's one of the reasons I really like this one. And you can go premium if you wish to. But I find that this will be perfectly fine for most people's uses. If all you want to do is dictate and create documents this way. Now let's go have a look at dictation site number five. Now if you've watched many of my videos, you'll have heard me mention occasionally otter.ai. Now I've been using otter.ai for a long time to transcribe my videos. 
And the reason I do that is so as I can create ebooks quickly and easily. Because I find that a an hour long video will easily create a 40 to 50 page ebook. Not a problem at all. And Otter.ai is a really, really great way of transcribing your video and putting it into a Word document. Now, but if you want to use it as a dictation tool, you can do that. Now, let me explain a little bit about Otter.ai. Now, Otter.ai gives you 600 minutes per month to be able to create whatever it is you wanted to create. And that's like 10 hours per month that you can use. Now, most people won't use that unless, of course, you're wanting to transcribe people's documents. Now, if you are a transcriptionist and you want to do it professionally, then otter.ai is a really great way of doing it. And you can be transcribing people's videos. You can be transcribing people's audios. But one of the things you can also do is use otter.ai as a speech text. Allow me to show you how it works. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. How now, brown cow? The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And as you can see, it's currently processing, but it'll, in a moment or two, it'll be completely finished. And when you want to go and save this, as you can see, I didn't have to say full stop new line or anything like that because it picked up on when I finished say, speaking and it did it for me automatically. It's one of the reasons I really love this particular one because by doing this, I don't have to worry about it. And you might see all these timestamps and go, I don't want those timestamps there. It'll take time to remove them. And you're absolutely correct. So they also give you the option when you go over here to go over here to export text and you can include timestamp or you can exclude timestamp. You can keep it, you know, the, the name of the person and go through, export as a monologue, include highlights, include photos, merge same speakers, segments, etc. You can save it as a text document or a just a per ordinary document, a clipboard. SRT, but I think in this case docs would be perfectly fine. But if you don't have that, you can go make it text. And then you can just download it and continue. And it will then export it to wherever you want. And it's going to go on my desktop just here. And in just a moment, I will save it. And when I find it, I'm going to bring this straight up here onto open. And there we have it. We can go here and just drag it down and we can remove that section there. Go down to here, remove that part there and we are finished formatting. Done. And all you need to do is copy and paste that over to a Word document if you wanted to turn it into an ebook. Very, very quick, very, very easy, very, very simple. Or as I said before, you can have it that it becomes a document so you can go over here to export text go over here to document and we'll go docs and we can hit continue wait a moment it'll bring up the same thing in the document form let's open that up and it'll put it in Microsoft Office and it will be perfectly fine so as you can see we have to do is delete all that you need to enable editing of course delete that delete all this good part about it is it gives you also keywords as well so you can delete that and just put that wherever you want it done easy as so these are my favorite dictation sites or speech to text sites and guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not share? This way other people can get the benefit of the video too. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.